praise the Lord, everyone, and thank you for joining me for God Speaks. Happy Thursday. I hope your Thursday is off to a great and a wonderful start. Um, and let's all let's start with a prayer. So, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for your goodness and your mercy, Lord. I pray, God, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart will be found acceptable in your sight, for you are my strength and my redeemer. I bless and I praise you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen. So, praise the Lord, everyone. I want to talk to you really quick. I just want to encourage you not to throw in the towel, no matter what it looks like, no matter who leaves you, no matter what people say about you, how people feel about you, do not throw in the towel. Someone is counting on you to stay in the ring and to stay in the fight, the good fight of faith that is. So I just want to encourage you, no matter what it looks like, no matter what they say, no matter how you even feel, how you perceive it, do not get out of the ring. Because if you get out of the ring, a forfeit is an automatic defeat. Defeat. However, if you stay in there, you will allow God to fight the battle for you and you will have victory. So I just want to encourage you, do not throw in the towel. Do not give up on the things that um, the enemy may be trying to get you out of your will. Your, you're not, not your will, his will and his purpose for your life. So just stay in the fight. I know that some are experiencing financial difficulties, housing difficulties, children difficulties, marital different, uh, difficulties. But here's the thing. On Judgment Day, you will stand alone and God will ask you, what did you do What it is that I've given you? And if you stay in the ring, if you stay in the fight, if you stand firm for Jesus and not give the excuse, the excuses in Matthew that says, um, that says, my wife, you know, my, my spouse, my, my money and my job. If you don't give those excuses, then you will be okay. Um, and in that regards, there's other things, but do not give God excuses. Do what he's called you to do, regardless of what you may lose, no matter what's at hand. Be who God called you to be. If he called you to be a Paul, be a Paul. If he's called you to be a David, be a David. And when I say this, I'm not speaking of them as individuals taking on their characteristics i'm saying be who god called you to be to this generation so if that is a john if that is uh, a keisha what uh or or tammy or uh, marissa whatever it is if god called you to be that person then be that person and some people are not going to approve because they're so focused on the old identity of you that they don't realize the new identity in you that is in christ jesus so don't do not give up do not Please, I just encourage you, do not give up. You may be closer than what you think you are. Sometimes we are at a point where we can touch something, but if we turn and walk away, we will never know how close we truly were. So do not throw in the towel. Be blessed and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Thursday.